If you have any pet animals at home, you should take a note from this video. Because in a deadly situation, it might help you save their life. So if you ever notice your pet having unusual breathing patterns, struggling to breathe, their gums pale, their bodies weak, that's oxygen deprivation, which is showing you that their bodies at that moment are not getting enough oxygen. In medical terms, this is known as hypoxia. You see, oxygen is necessary for the existence of every living being, including animals. We all know that if a human being is deprived of oxygen, we will land in heaven or hell. But what about animals? How does it affect them? Will they die in the same manner as humans, or there is a chance of their survival? Let us first understand why this happens so that we will know what first aid can be done to save their life if this unlucky situation ever arrives in our pet life. Oxygen deprivation happens in animals mainly due to blocked airways. They might have choked something or are drowned or they might be asthmatic. They might also be having circulation problems which occur due to some heart issues or blood loss. Or if your pet is suddenly exposed to high mountains. Or maybe you visited some very polluted environment. This might also cause breathing problems in them. Once the animal starts being in this state, they will have trouble breathing. Weakness and exhaustion will take over them. After oxygen levels are depleted, they will experience loss of coordination and disorientation. Their heart rate and blood pressure will change. Their organs will begin to deteriorate and they will eventually lose consciousness, resulting in death. When an animal is deprived of oxygen, their body produces a sequence of physiological responses to compensate for the lack of oxygen. Some of the responses are as follows. Their heart rate will rise, causing blood vessels to constrict, releasing additional stress hormones, and altering their usual breathing pattern. As a result, their heart will start pumping blood to the key organs. While these responses may help the animal live in the short term, they can also lead to additional difficulties and damage if the oxygen deprivation continues. Pauls keep in mind that oxygen deprivation is further divided into three categories. Hypoxemia occurs due to low oxygen in the blood, and in this case, the animal will feel weak and dizzy. On the other hand, Hypoxia occurs when there is low oxygen in tissues, which will cause organ damage and unconsciousness. The third category is known as anoxia, which occurs when there is no oxygen at all. Pray to God this never happens, because in this case, unless and until pet doctors are nearby, you will not be able to save them with your efforts. Now what can be done to save your baby? Well, always keep in mind that prevention is better than cure, and a little knowledge goes a long way. Hence, learn basic medical procedures, such as how to perform CPR on animals. Keep in stock the special oxygen masks for pets, and their medicine if they are allergic to something. But the most important part is that, if you have a pet animal at home, make sure they are away from objects that might suffocate them, supervise near water, install carbon monoxide detectors, and know the signs. If you see them, struggling to breathe, check and remove obstructions and perform CPR if needed. Make them warm and provide comfort to reduce their panic and stress. By being informed and proactive, you can be your pet's hero. However, every animal is different. Some can hold their breath longer. Others have special adaptations. But if you see an animal struggling, React fast and seek professional help. Remember, early intervention is key. If you suspect hypoxia, rush to the vet. With prompt treatment, most animals recover fully, but even a little awareness can prevent tragedy.